materiality concept. If the misstatement or omission of an information could make a difference to the user's decision. Now, what is materiality concept? It says that if if an item of difference, if, if an expense is something very small, it does not. And the cost of recording that expense is going to be much more than the cost itself. Then we can ignore that particular cost. So materiality concept says that if it is not material, some concepts, some items may be ignored. However, then the question arises on what is material? What do you mean by how much is material? How do you decide on what is material? So the definition for that is that if the omission of an information or the misstatement of some information, if it makes a difference to the user's decision, then it is material. If you don't give some information, if you don't provide an information, but it, that, that could affect the user's decision, then it would be considered material. So materiality cannot be defined in total terms. It would vary from organization to organization. A rupees 1 lakh may be very material for a small business organization and it may be totally a non-material item for a huge company having business in several crores. Similarly, materiality can also be a relative. If suppose a business is making profits, it's a very marginal, small amount of profit. And if an item of expense has been omitted and the item of expense is small, however, if we include that item of expense, the profit will be converted to a loss. It would become material. It would become material. So materiality would, may vary from organization to organization, may vary from situation to situation. An example here is a stock of stationery. What does this mean? Suppose usually when we buy stationery, let's say we have bought several sheets of paper. We normally treat this as an item of expense. But like we mentioned before, what is an expense? When the benefit of that expenditure is received in the current year, it's called an expense. If you're not going to receive the benefit in that year, then you should treat it as an asset and carry it forward as an expense for next year. So suppose we have bought some stationery. The amount involved is small. But at the end of the year, some pieces of stationery, some pieces of paper still remain with us. Since this stationery will be used only in the next year, strictly speaking, following the accounting concepts, maybe we should treat that as an asset and take it forward as an expense. However, a few sheets of paper, the trouble of finding the cost of it and treating it as expense is non-material. That is why items of stationery, though items of stationery, Though we purchase in one year and continue to use some of it in the next year, we treat stationery as an item of expense. Similarly, when we buy very small items, assets of small items, let's say a calculator for 3000 rupees, we intend to use it for a period of five years, but we just charge it off as expense because the amount involved may be very small when compared to our big size of business.